The next thing we need to do, before we get too far, I want to go ahead and figure out where we can add a camera. And the reason I like to add a camera early on is so I can figure out exactly what needs to get modeled and what doesn't. There's not really a point to modeling everything in your scene when you have a camera in place because it's really important to focus your detail on the areas that you can see. Now, we did go ahead and model the entire space because it does affect the way it's lit. And so if it's modeled correctly, the lighting is going to bounce through that space correctly. So let's go ahead and explore some camera settings. So I'm going to just look for a view I think that's going to work really well. And I want to do a nice one point perspective. Somewhere in this vicinity. That shows my bedroom. Down here shows a little bit of the kitchen. There we go. So that's looking pretty good right there. Now the field of view feels a little strong. So what I'm going to do is create a camera from this view. And an easy way to do that is to control C. Now, before we create our camera, it's going to create a camera on our millwork layer. So I'm going to make sure we go back to our default layer and hit Control C, and it just created a camera from my perspective. So you can see that based on the parameters and the settings here. So now if I go to a top view and wireframe mode, F3, you can see there's my camera. Okay. Because we have a camera in our scene, if you hit C on your keyboard, it'll jump back to that camera view. So there's our camera. Now the field of view is feeling really deep and the space is feeling really stretched and wide. Now if you want to control the field of view, there is a field of view option here you can use. But now that we have a camera, we can also control the field of view based on the camera settings. So to control the camera settings, click on physical camera, select camera, and scroll up to the lens right here. And we're going to uncheck the specify field of view, and we're going to use a focal length. And right now, it's set to a focal length of 12, which is really low. Typically, you want to go anywhere from 16 to 25 for interiors. So let's start with a 25 millimeter. So hit 25. Okay, and now you can see how tight the space is. So what we want to do is pull back a little bit. So I'm going to pull back out. And you can see if I pull back too far, I'm outside my rendering. So there's a trick we can use to actually see the inside of the space from the outside. And that's done with a camera clipping. So if you scroll down all the way down to miscellaneous rollout, we're going to open miscellaneous and turn on clipping planes. Okay, Right now it's set to zero. But as we increase the distance, it's going to increase where that clipping plane is. Now all this is doing is telling us where the camera can see through. It's not affecting the geometry at all, but you can see there is my clipping plane. The advantage to this is we can stay outside of the rendering and still see the inside. And now I can zoom out just a little bit. I'm going to increase my clipping plane just a little bit. Now if you go too much, it's going to start clipping your rendering, your geometry. Now it doesn't affect the way it renders, it just affects what the camera can see. So, there we go. Now, I also want to do a true one-point perspective. So I'm going to rotate my camera. So select your camera and hit rotate. And you can see down here, it's 89 degrees. I want to make it 90 degrees so it's perfectly straight. So it's not letting me do that because I have a target. If I have a target, you can't rotate the camera. So we're going to turn the target off. So scroll up here, turn off the target. And now we can enter 90 there. And now it's a true one point, straight on. So now we can see everything. We can see our millwork. We can see some of the cabinets. It's looking pretty good. Now, from this view, you can see that there's an opening in the back. And so we may want to add a little more detail to our walls. So let's go ahead and add that wall. We're going to add this wall right here going to create a new line right here. Simply create a wall 
I'm actually going to just create an L. There we go. And if you want, you can straighten it out. There we go. So let's hit C to go back to our camera. And there's our wall. So it's looking pretty good. I'm going to extend our, our ceiling too, so it extends over our space. So without adding more vertices, I'm just going to pull this out. If I add more vertices, it's going to affect our poly above. So let's make sure that we keep our verts. There we go. So there's our space. So our modeling for the space is pretty much done.